This isn't a reflection. No, really. This is a lie. You might have noticed that most game reflections just don't look right. And that's because reflections in games don't work anything like you would expect them to. One of the most basic and least demanding types of reflections are cube maps. They are basically like a 360 image of the surrounding area. Next up are planar reflections, which effectively render a lower resolution version of the scene. This works really well for simple rooms with fewer details, but highly detailed scenes are far too complicated. Screen space reflections or SSR is everywhere. From GTA to The Witcher 3, this is the go-to for most game developers. It works by analyzing the content of the current frame on screen, including the distance of each pixel from the camera to roughly calculate the reflections that should appear. And now the pinnacle of reflections, ray tracing. Ray tracing works by firing thousands of little rays and the path of each ray is traced as it interacts with the objects in the scene, allowing the computer to calculate how the ray would behave in a real world scenario. This is the most realistic and accurate way to handle reflections. So now you know that.